So the question is specify the Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval for the uh, for each of the following signals. Okay. So the first one is given as x of t is equal to sink 200 t. Okay. So let us take the first one. X of t is equal to zinc. X of t is equal to sink 200 t. Okay. So you know that sink theta is equal to sin pi theta divided by pi theta. Right. So this is actually your formula for your sin theta. So with respect to um, the signal you can write x of t is equal to we can uh, rewrite the signal as sin pi instead of theta you have omega t right. So 200t divided by pi 200t. Now when you compare both the equation uh, you know that omega is equal to 200 pi. So here you have pi, right? 200 pi. So you know that what is omega? 2 pi f is equal to 200 pi. So you will be getting pi pi cancel 2. So you will be getting f is equal to 100 hertz. So once if you know f is equal to 100 hertz, you, you can apply the formula. What is your question? Nyquist rate. Nyquist rate which is given by Fs which is equal to what is your formula? 2 times of Fm. So your Fm you have already got right 100 hertz. Therefore Fs will be equal to 2 into 100 which will be equal to Fs will be equal to 200 hertz. Okay. Now, what will be your Nyquist in Nyquist interval? Nyquist interval is nothing but which is given by T S, which is equal to one by F S, which is equal to one by two hundred. So T S will be equal to five millisecond. So this will be the answer of the first question. So now let us take the second question. So what is your second question? X of t is equal to sink square 200t. Right. So again we can write in the form of sine theta. So you know that again you can write sin, sink square theta is equal to sin square pi theta divided by pi theta the whole square. So then I can uh, write the equation as x of t which is equal to sin square pi theta right. So sin, sin square 200 pi t divided by 200 pi t the whole square. But if you see here, again it is in the form sin square theta. So you, how can you write sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2, right? So you can write, you can reconfigure your equation x of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus cos 2 theta. So you will be getting cos 400 pi t, right? Divided by 2 will be 200 pi t the whole square. So if I can split this into two terms, then the first term will become your uh, DC term, right? 1 by 2 into 200 pi t the whole square, which is nothing but your DC term minus, what is your second term? Cos 400 pi t divided by 200 pi t the whole square. If I take 1 by 2 as common, right? So now your concentration should be in uh, your omega term. Uh, uh, omega term. So omega is equal to 400 pi. So you know that 2 pi f is equal to 400 pi. Therefore what will be your f? f will be equal to 200 hertz. So if you know f is equal to 200 hertz, what will be your Nyquist rate? 
Nyquist rate Fs is equal to 2 times of Fm. Fm will be equal to 200 hertz, right? So, Fs will be equal to 400 hertz. Nyquist rate, you have got the answer. Okay. Now, what will be a Nyquist interval? Ts is equal to 1 by Fs, which is equal to 1 by 400 hertz, which is equal to 2.5 milliseconds. So, this will be your second question. Moving on to your third question. So, let me write the third question. What was your third question? Just similar to that of your second question. X of t is equal to sink 200t combination of first and second question, right? Sink square 200t. So, if you modify this, I can replace it by means of your sine pi theta. So, I can write that sine 200 pi t divided by 200 pi t plus again you have sine square 200 pi t right divided by 200 pi t the whole square which is equal to here you don't have a change sign 200 pi t divided by 200 pi t plus again you can reconfigure this 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 400 pi t divided by 200 pi t the whole square right so this is the same form which we have done in your second question so ultimately what you will be getting, you will be getting omega 1 and a combination of omega 1 and omega 2. So we can uh, do it separately. In between you will be having a DC term also. Okay. You can eliminate the DC term. So what will be your omega 1? So omega 1 will be equal to 200 pi. So 2 pi F1 will be equal to 200 pi. So, what will be your uh, F1? F1 will be equal to 100 hertz. Similarly, what will be your omega 2? Omega 2 is equal to, what is your value? 400 pi, right? 400 pi. So, 2 pi F2 is equal to 400 pi. So, while pi pi will get cancelled, you will be getting it as 200 hertz. So, what we will be taking it as Fm. Fm will be equal to the maximum of F1, comma F2. What is the maximum value? So, Fm is, will be equal to 200 hertz. Right. So, you will be getting the same answer. So, what will be your Nyquist rate? Fs is equal to 2 into 200 hertz, which is equal to 400 hertz. And your Ts. Nyquist interval will be equal to 1 by Fs, which is equal to 1 by 400, which is equal to 2.5 millisecond.